Anyway, let's let's get away from like fucking flu and COVID and all that bullshit. And uh, let's get into some battle axe. So like I said before, um, I got this code from my friend uh, Team BBV, who I believe got it from Numskull directly. Um, so thank you to both of them. I figured I'd give it a go. It'd be rude not to, right? Let's just get rid of this preview window because it takes up valuable resources on my PC. Let's see what this is like. Uh, I'm doing this just for full disclosure. I'm doing it on easy because uh, I hear it's bastard hard. And actually, what are the controls? Melee shoot item ability. Okay, got it. So, what character are we going to pick? Are we going to be one of the two grumpy old dwarf dudes? Or are we going to be the cute elf woman? I think the picture next to the gameplay window probably gives it away, right? Battle above the clouds. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, so as you can see, it's sort of like a top-down scrolling beat em up type thing. Uh, so we can throw knives. Is there a... There seems to be some kind of cooldown. Holy shit! That dude super exploded. Um, I don't know if the levels are randomly generated or not. Oh, that's our special. So is that... I wonder if it's going to be like Streets of Rage and stuff where that uses up part of your energy bar. Let's try it. It doesn't. Ah, oh, there's some kind of red bar. What's that? Oh, that's probably the hit, hit counter. Chicken! Who are you? Ah, oh, that's probably... Oh, this was a Kickstarter as well, as far as I'm aware. So I guess you could pay to be a character that you rescue. Let's go, Faye. We'll go, Faye. Wonder if you should wear lighter clothes or not. Got a Games Master vibe going on right now. Um, Alvin, there's... Yeah, maybe. You might be right. Ow. I thought that was going to be a bad guy. Yeah, get wrecked. Treasure! Oh, what does the magic scroll do? I'm still getting... Uh, do you, I don't know if you heard that. I'm still getting noises for like achievements and shit, but... I've turned the notifications off, so... I don't know what's going on there. Just looked up this game, it's 25 quid on Steam, got mixed reviews though. Heard a blip. Yeah, exactly. I, I yeah, I've not really seen much of this, Alvin. I'm, I'm going in relatively blind. I just saw a trailer for it and it's like, oh, that looks cool. I'll give that a whirl. Glod. It feels a bit like, uh, this is showing my age a little bit, but a game called the Chaos Engine. In terms of the look of it. I do like how the enemies explode. That is quite fun. Yeah, Chaos Engine. Hey, Jimmy. Welcome in, dude. How you doing? Yeah, really, it kind of feels like that. I'm not exactly... I think it's just the viewpoint feels like it. Most of the mixed reviews are critiques on the price. Right. I, I, I do... How do you guys feel about that? Like, price. Ah, shit. Uh, when it comes to, like, using price as a way to... Uh, like, to bring a score up or down. Uh, 
Ah, uh, get wrecked. Wait, Bitmap Bureau did this. Did they? Wait, hang on. Bit Wait, Bitmap Bureau did uh, Xeno Crisis, didn't they? Am I, am I not, I'm not misremembering that, am I? Because I love that game. Why, am it, why is it making Xbox noises? What am I unlocking? Oh, we've got a bit of rain. They did. Ah, oh, sick. I love, uh, I love Xeno Crisis. Xeno Crisis has, like, essentially the best Mega Drive music ever made. Savage Regime is a, uh, a genius. Price has no bearing at all on games to me. See, I, I can't say that they don't for me. Uh, I don't know. It's a difficult one. Like I, I refuse to pay 70 quid for any of these Sony exclusives on PS5 at the moment. I think that's too much. I really do. Um, but I also think the games are going to be great when I do get them. I just have like a threshold for price now, I think. I feel like it's entering a shop and moaning loudly about the prices. That's really stupid, Alexa. I agree. We, I work in a game shop, so when that happens, it's like, well, I didn't make the price up, so you're you're just screaming into the void, essentially. Thank you, thank you, thanks. Thank you, thank you, thanks. You're welcome. It's all about uh, value for money, really. Like, if you buy a 6 quid game, it's really good for the last two hours and has no replay value. It has its impact. Yes. I think that's the thing. Like, some games, uh, they can... They can rely on their replay value and can be short but really good, but you want to play it over and over and over again. Uh, some games are just really, really long. Some are needlessly long. Like, I mean, look at Ubisoft games. They are ridiculously long for the sake of being long, I feel, a lot of the time. Oh, hello. It sounds a little bit mega drivey, this music. Oh, shit. Am I gonna have to use long range? <clears throat> uh, Jimmy, I think. I, uh, I was looking up the game, actually, just to see how it was doing on Twitch. And I think I stumbled across your video that you did earlier in the week. Could be wrong. I don't know if... Uh, can I... Oh. I was wondering if I could shoot the uh, the bolts back. Alas, no. Sorry, guys. Just got the concentration face on. I need to work out if I get uh, invulnerability from the ability as well. I think actually shooting the other dudes made this fight more hard. More difficult, rather. because it's swaying all over the place now. Yeah! <laughs> oh, rank D though, Christ. Okay. Can I sell you something? Uh, maybe. How do I use, I use coins to buy stuff. Uh, let's see, price me is very important. The game has to be worth it, but I have to decide on a case by case or game by game rather than overall. Yeah, it's not, uh, I think I kind of agree with that, Alvin. I think it's not a, it's not a, like a definite for me. I'm not definitely going to mark something down because of it being too expensive and not long enough or something. But some games definitely, I think it has more, more of a factor than others for me. Uh, Jimmy, thanks for the follow, dude. Appreciate it. D for dudes, yes. <laughs> uh, I was going to get Bright Memory on Steam discount for just under six quid, but it's like 15 minutes to an hour only. Same point is that you get the main game for free once it's done. But that's unknown when that'll be seeing it's 
that so when that will be seeing as it's one do making the game on the other hand i've spent more money on far less so i keep that in mind to try and not let the price hold me back i mean that's that's uh early access thing though that kind of brings another thing into the picture doesn't it because games on early access are not necessarily going to get finished uh thank you for that host alvin as well Frankly, I've put maybe 20 hours to battle axe so far, but I speedrun, so yeah, likely. Oh, okay, yeah, that's it. I think I, I think I did see you were speedrunning it. I look at it like if the game is enjoyable, I don't care how much it is. How can you put a price to enjoyment? I, you know, I think the main thing I go for usually is um, I compare it to a film. Like, if I'm going to the cinema. Uh, going to the cinema down here is like... Christ, I mean, it can be anywhere from about like 10 to 16 pounds for two hours, usually. So if I'm paying like 30 quid for a game, I want it to be really enjoyable and last at least like four, five, six hours. I think that's, I don't know, that's kind of the way I've, I've kind of got into it, but it's not, it's not that easy, it really isn't. Also, you should be reviewing the game from a mechanical and technical creative viewpoint for review shortly. People changing their review scores when the price goes on sale or they get it free. Maybe. I mean, my, uh, Naif, when I was like messing around with doing like short reviews on stuff, my scoring uh, system was based on price point. So it'd be like buy at full price, wait for a sale, wait for a deep sale uh good for free and just shit <laughs> don't play at all no the price is not universal i i think it's a i i think as far as reviewing stuff or like dictating the quality of a game it's maybe one of the worst ways you can go about um getting your point across We wouldn't buy a paperback book for 80 quid, but we wouldn't buy a PS5 for a grand. The cost has to be appropriate for the product provided. Yeah. Like, like I said, I think currently £70 for a game is way too much, uh, personally. But then some people are okay with it, you know? Like, I know a lot of people are, are very much like, oh, there's not a lot of PS5 games at the moment, so I don't mind paying a lot for this one because it's one of the first ones. <clears throat> Goodbye. Oh shit, I didn't actually mean to do that. I, I don't know what any of those things meant. The forgotten minds. I did not know. Zombos. I'm really digging the music. Oh, I don't like those. Can you not? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, we're getting double, double hits now. Yeah, I don't like those guys. I did take a hit there somewhere. I'm not sure where. Might be in the explosives. Those things coming out of the ground are not nice. Uh, I'm not. I'm not forgetting virtual racing, Jimmy. I don't remember it being. I don't remember it being a hundred. I remember it being like eighty quid though. That fucking SVP chip. N64 games are 65 quid on launch, right? Or at least 60 quid, if I remember. Yeah, r yeah, something like that. Something like that, Nave. I think it, de it really depended on those. And that was 65 quid back then as well, so. Music is by Manami Matsu M Matsume. What has... Uh, what have they done, Jimmy? You got your eyebrow cut open with one when, when you were younger. What, the Argos catalogue? <laughs> That's not good. 
That is really not good. Oh, we've got another Chivo. I'm going to have to find out where that Chivo noise is coming from. I specifically turned off the notifications. So it's very annoying. Ah, shit. Depth of field has uh, foiled me there. Assholes. Uh, Matsume did first Mega Man. Oh wow! Final fight on a few tracks from Shovel Knight. Love a bit of Shovel Knight. Can't go wrong with Shovel Knight. I need to rebuy that actually. I want to get the um, the collection. Oh, it seems like a oh shit. What is that item I've got? It seems to be some kind of magic thing. I don't know if I should use that. I found a bomb. Oh, well, I've got a bomb now. I think I might be dying here. Sorry, this is a this level's a bit tougher to keep up with the uh, the chat. Uh, I think I started it. We were hitting each other catalogs and he threw his hit me in the face. Oh, your brother threw one at you. Four stitches got the whole Argos takes care of it crap for ages afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sorry, Alvin. So for finding your pain funny. But at least it was in the past. Uh, have I got to destroy this? Do I have to destroy this thing? All right, oh, okay, we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of respawns here. The enemies. Nice. Oh yeah, I mean, you have to laugh about stuff like that, don't you? No point in taking it seriously. Oh shit, I was wondering. Um, a Bitmap Bureau made up of old Bitmap Brothers members. See what the magic scroll does in a bit. <clears throat> no relationship, okay. Maybe an inspiration. I don't like these uh, tentacles from the ground. Oh dear. That was almost bad. I have to keep my eye out for traps. Music kind of reminds me of something else as well. Can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, Jimmy, what sort of other stuff do you play, dude? Or are you a bit of a, are you a variety streamer? Like mainly retro? You're welcome. I could really do with a, uh, a chicken right now. That would be rad. I get the distinct feeling you do not want to mess around here.
You're a Sega speedrunner primarily. We are going to get on well, my friend. <laughs> if it wasn't already immediately obvious, I'm a, uh, a big, big Sega fan. Big, big old Sega fan. Ah, you bastard. I'm not sure what the potion did. Probably should have kept it, but never mind. I will have to use this uh, magic scroll in a minute, I think. It's a crab. That actually looks very similar to a Xeno Crisis boss. Ah, okay, a big old explosion. Alright, so you just gotta be careful with that. Power up! Power up! Kel! How you doing, man? Toe beans? What? Whoops. Did I miss something? Stage clear. Fucking E rank, Jesus Christ. Kel, thanks, man. Three months. How you doing, dude? Can I sell you something? I'm trying to picture which Xeno Crisis boss. I feel like it's the. There's like a tentacly one. It was the first one, right? It feels like the color scheme was very similar. You what? Shima, yeah. I think that was the one. I'm back, yes. My face is back. My hair is not quite so mental anymore, so I'm happier to be back on. Uh, Jimmy, can you tell me what these items do? So that's like a, a screen clear of sorts. Is that... um? Is that like a health regen? Just came by and the first thing I hear is talk about tentacles. It's all for you, Skip. It's all for you. Chicken is one health re regen. Okay. Uh, that's like a bomb, right? Yep, screen clear clearing explosion. Uh, that's got a plus one on it. Is that an extra like pip of health? Oh, trimester. Okay. Having my three-month resub all over the... Oh, okay. I see what you mean now. Sorry. Oh, okay. Stick. That's a... Wings of speed up, right? I guess that's um, defense. And then... Or oh, that's a power up. Like a permanent attack power boost. Nave, have a good one, dude. The squad calls. Go and um, go and stroke the kitty, please. This is melee dash attack power up. Bolt is projectile power up. Right, got it. Thanks, man. Uh, so I'm gonna buy one of these. Thank you. Ah, okay. So they go up each time. Interesting. I think I'm all right with speed at the moment. Uh, let's go for Thanks. attack. Oh, okay. So it's just one for that one. So I might as well get the speed one. Although I could save up for this one for the next. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I think. Yeah, let's try that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stage three. music sounds sick as well I'm not sure why I'm surprised it's all sounded great so far this is really good good to know I'm still as cute as ever 
I'm all right. Debatable, but I'll, I will take it, Kel. Thank you. I'm not very good as a as an honorary Englishman. I don't know why honorary, but uh, I am duty bound not to be able to accept compliments very well. That is just how we work. I don't know if I missed something over here. I want to go over here. I'm going to go back. I think I went the right way first time. James! You are saved, James. Yes, yeah, so it's very, very Xeno Crisis in the upgrade system then. Very similar. I see you, evil Mike. And actually, the, uh, the survivors make sense now because that was another Xeno Crisis thing too. No map, is there? No. See, if a gay says you're cute, that means something because gay cute is straight gorgeous. I'll take it. I will take it. I'm flattered. Nice. I feel like I'm missing some bits here. That's a... I think that's an enemy that was in Xena Crisis as well. Sorry, ringing Xena Crisis up all the time, but... Yeah, those little bud things. I'm sure they were a bad guy. It's mechanic... Ah, uh, zombies ate my neighbors. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. They're re-releasing that again soon, aren't they? It's that and the uh, oh, it's, they did a they did a sequel, didn't they? But it was only on the Super Nintendo. It's that you came up with a theme for your stream when you start back up, cats and toe beans. I mean, you can't go wrong with cats. Cats or dogs is a good theme. When are you coming back, Kel? Have you decided yet? This fireball shit. Ah, you bastard. It's a the only other thing is it's a bit of a shame that this hasn't got online multiplayer. My friend was mentioning that. I do agree. I feel like that would have been uh would have been nice. But at the same time, I can understand how expensive that can be to implement. Maybe if they'd uh, got a little bit more on the Kickstarter, they, that could have been a possibility, perhaps. It's not a deal breaker for me, though. Not by any stretch. Oh, you can blow those up. All right. Does that mean I could attack them? Oh, what have I missed? Ah. Got ya. <clears throat> Part second Steam Remote Players thing. That's true. I um I do need to work out how to use Parsec. Although I am playing this on the uh, Xbox. Oh shit. I might die again here. Yeah, I'm playing this on the Xbox One. 
everyone's favourite platform. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it's not on Game Pass, no. My uh, my friend managed to get me a code for it. Oh dear, that was lucky. I, I said to him that I... Ah, shit. I said to him I was looking... I saw a trailer for it and I thought it looked cool. And uh, I think he's in contact with someone at Numskull. So I managed to get a code for it, which was, uh, was rad. John, I don't know why the... Uh, sound effect is not working how are you dude that one worked oh balls didn't mean to hit it into the wall there This uh, this music almost sounds a little bit home alone -y. The the sort of the part of the background music. At points, ooh. Don't know if that's probably just me. I thought I got hit again there. How's the game? Yeah or nay? It's, um, it, it feels very much like Xena Crisis, John. So if you like that, I think you'll like this. Like, it feels like one that's just kind of good to put on and have a quick blast through it. It's balls, it's pretty, pretty hard, yeah. Maybe not quite as hard as that, but but still pretty hard. Might have to do uh, some multiplayer on it at some point. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I feel like I might have gone the wrong way again there. Or the right way. I, oh yeah, I am playing on easy as well. That is, that is true. Because I'm a massive coward. What's uh, what's different about hard, Jimmy? Is it just the usual kind of stuff, like more enemies, or to do less damage, or motherfucker? I feel like I've missed some enemies. I'm missing two villagers right now. Don't know. Oh, I have all 16. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, man. I would not. I'd be going around for ages otherwise, trying to figure it out. Uh, hard is different enemy spawns. Bosses take more hits. Health doesn't replenish between stages. Right. Okay. That's uh, that's reasonable. Had some achievement sounds popping on my PC when I play on my Xbox and get achievements. I think it's because of some sort of connection to the Xbox app and Windows. Let's see if it needs turning off or something. Not looked into it properly myself. Oh, maybe, Alvin. Yeah, I mean, I, that's not something I would have turned on, but maybe it's come up in an update. No continues. Oh, shit. So I'm actually on my last life right now. Yeah, it, it does feel a bit like uh, Zombies at My Neighbors sure. Oh, balls. Stay Fuck off. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, don't worry, Jimmy, it's fine. Don't worry, it's fine. <clears throat> Can I sell you something? I think that was a good use of the uh, the bomb there. Diablo, welcome in, dude. How have you been? The 
hellfire descends upon you. I, I, I don't want the hellfire to descend upon me because I am half Irish and I'll burn. I will burn. <laughs> oh dear. Welcome in, guys. What was uh, what was young Master Diablo playing? Bit of Mass Erect. Which one are you playing, Diablo? You playing? I take you're going through in order, right? You playing the first one? Mr. Zepter, welcome in. Uh, BW Anubi. Uh, sorry, is it? I hope I got that right. B. Is it BW Anubi or BWA Anubi? I'm not sure. Very first playthrough of the trilogy, right? Uh, how does it hold up? Pretty good. I did call it Mass Erect. Yeah, that's something we've been calling it at work. Um, guys, are just coming on the raid. Uh, if you don't, if you do want to stick around, if you don't mind just clicking on the uh, link to the channel there, just because it will actually count as a view that way. And Midnight, uh, Midnight Sparrow One. Thank you for the following. I got it right the first time. Okay, cool. Uh, welcome in, guys. My name's Sound Shower. Uh, you can call me Sound or Tom. I'm a variety streamer who is very Sega focused, or at least my sort of theming for the channel is, but I play all sorts of stuff. You name it. Welcome in. Doesn't count if you come with the raid. No, it doesn't. Apparently, that's what I'm told anyway. Apparently, it doesn't count as a real view unless you actually like refresh and go into the channel properly or um, if you uh, click into it. I could be wrong. Yahtzee coined Mass Erect. I'm, yeah, I'm not surprised by that at all, John. Oh, that's it, yeah. So it counts as view, doesn't count as an average view for partner. Diablo is right. That's, yeah, so when you look at your... Uh, if anyone streamed, I don't know if you get, like, a, a stream summary at the end of your stream. But it was sharp there, but yeah, it won't count towards the average. That's the, uh... That's it. I kind of get it, because otherwise you could just, like, pay for partner. Like, just getting... You could pay for, like, raids, couldn't you, from certain people. Or, like, people that have got a really big following, if they've got loads of people, could essentially gift someone partner by just raiding them every day. Yeah, maybe Zepta. I don't know. I, I, I don't... I do, really don't know. The 75 viewer average for partners not really been a major concern for me because I don't really expect to hit it anytime soon, if ever. But hey, it'd be nice to, you know, it'd be nice to get there eventually. Right. I mean, all that kind of stuff changes all the time, doesn't it? Uh, Thank you. Let's get some more life. Oh shit, what was, um, what was it that, I'm just having a look here. Bolt is the projectiles, okay. I'm wondering if I should just go for more life. Because that is my problem at the moment. Yeah. Thank you. I'll go for that. Okay, so life is maxed out. Yeah, Diablo, how's um, how's your how are you getting on with the first playthrough of Mass Effect? Yeah, I don't know, like anyone else that streamed. I don't know if you guys are too fussed about it. Like when people like put like road to partner all that kind of stuff. Like, I don't F do what you want, but like that kind of stuff, I I don't really feel like it helps. I feel like it puts pressure on yourself. Um. Once you get a bit closer, sure, but like when you're still sitting at like, you know, 10, 20, 5, 10, 20, don't bother. Like it's, uh, I feel like it's, uh, it's unnecessary pressure on yourself. Great so far, only 18-ish hours in. That's still a pretty, pretty decent way through though. Stage four, score your spire. Yeah, not, that's, uh, that's not bad at all, man. 
I'm glad you're enjoying it though. I'm glad it holds up. Because I've not played that game since uh, since it came out. And I very much enjoyed it. Now uh, we got we got fart gas. We got fart gas. Right, so I want to try and take those out from far away, I guess. Oh, good. Shit. I don't know if I get iframes from my um, dash. Ah, oh, balls. Well, that, that suggests no. Oh, no! These things have messed me up super bad! Oh, wait. I think that actually worked there. It did. I don't like this. Oh, shit. No! I'm trying to get the dude in the middle. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm super done. Wow, this is really nasty. <laughs> Maserect holds up. Budumch. Feels like Halo meets an RPG. Mm, yes, uh, I don't know. Style-wise, I feel like Mass Effect is very clean, isn't it? Like the technology is very clean. Um, I suppose Halo is to a degree as well. It feels a bit bit grungier, I suppose, to me. Right, okay. I need to find out where that is popping up. It's got to be Windows. It's very annoying. Like these fire things. Shit. This might be the end of the run. I didn't see a second one there. Shit. Ah, Sparrow, thank you. I will have a look. Damn, well, I think that was alright for a first go, even though it was on easy. Um, definitely a, yeah, it, it's good. It's very good. It's, um, I don't think I've, I, I don't find it quite as good as Xeno Crisis, I don't think. I feel like that was a little bit tighter control wise. And I've got a massive soft spot for the Mega Drive sound chip, so there's that. But it's, um, yeah, it's good. I'd, uh, I'd, I could recommend this easily. Reminds you of Gauntlet. Yeah. Um, I mean, it doesn't have the uh, the infinite enemy spawners, I guess, that Gauntlet does, but I can I can see where you're going with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Windows Game Center. Let's see if I can turn this off. Xbox console companion. Is it to do with that? Oh, that! Oh, the purple towers are, are the, okay. Sorry, I misunderstood. I am corrected. <laughs> uh, yeah, is it this? Windows game set. I found uh, like an Xbox console companion. <clears throat> it's basically Gauntlet plus Zombies Ate My Neighbors with a smacking of Chaos Engine. Right. I I would I would agree with that. 
press uh, Windows plus G to open the game bar. Oh, that doesn't work for me for some reason. Let me just look up uh, game bar. Xbox game bar, there you go. Uh, then the gear for settings. Then the left icon should flash when it's notifications. Ah, uh, oh yeah, I, I see. Silence notification sounds, there you go. Thank you, Alvin. Jimmy, it was a pleasure, dude. I uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you for following the channel. Yeah, so you just go into notifications, right? And then silence notification sounds. It's weird, that's only just come up recently. I don't think I've ever noticed that otherwise. The thing is, is that something that I can get rid of now? <laughs> don't want the Xbox game bar everywhere. Oh, I forgot to shut uh, Discord down. Let me shut that down. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> the, the game bar. Game bar. <laughs> right. Right, uh, let me just switch back to my main screen now. Come on, Kel. How many Chivos did we get? Destroy chain 50 enemies, slay 250. Kill five enemies in one go. Destroy a chain 10 enemies. Okay, so actually what was left? S ranks. They did the exact same thing for Xeno Crisis as well. 0% of gamers unlocked this. Oh shit, was Area 4 the last one as well? Fuck, that's annoying. Complete a game without buying anything. Complete an area without missing a projectile attack. Oh, that must be easy, isn't it? You just, like, fire one at an enemy and then the never use it that? again. What the fuck is that? Complete a game without dying. That one sounds difficult to me. Ugh. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> uh, mass a thousand coins infinite mode let's have a look at infinite mode Battle axe. Hey, Viola, Rooney, Viola. let's try this dude old man wizard dude okay so he's got like Mega projectiles. Lovely. Nice music again. Yo! Alright, the teleport actually hits as well. Yeah, very nice music. Bollocks. I think, uh, actually, the D-pad feels a bit nicer for this, I think. Getting taken out by the traps. Funks. <laughs> oh, cheeky. Wonder if this is randomized.
It does work now, yeah. Um, if I have time tonight, I did want to have a quick look at Hades as well. Something I've been meaning to have a look at for a while. Oh, is that how I got... I just had to get there. Okay. Once you've collected all of the... Rescued everyone, I guess. Right, potion is full heal. I wonder if the money is used for anything in this mode. Bastard. Announcer guy reminds me of the announcer guy from Street Fighter. No, it's not like that. I wouldn't say anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. David Desio. Thank you. Is it always three? Nice. Oh, there you go. Thanks. Go for health. Lovely. So obviously the um... oh shit, that's the only problem with the projectiles. Like it's in diagonals, so it's not always going to hit by the looks of it. I've already lost all of that health I got. <laughs> Damn. Well. Oh no, we got another life. Alright. I'll keep going. Alan was not wrong when he said this was quite hard. I don't know if I like this character as much as the other one. Chicken! Yeah, there's just... It's... I don't know. I mean, I should use melee attacks when they're that close. I guess that's the issue. It's my fault. But if the angle's just, just slightly off, then you won't hit. Let's see if I can get to that level ten. I don't think so. I do not think so, somehow. <laughs> do you guys know if that um, Xbox Game Bar thing actually uses up system resources? So I'd quite like to turn that off if, uh, if possible. Thank you. Goodbye. If that is the case. Fucking skeleton. Yeah, probably. Thanks. Thank you. I don't know, they're not they're not as bad with, with that stuff as they used to be. I remember there was one update where um Oh god. Uh game mode for Windows actually made OBS run way slower. That was very annoying. It's like why all of a sudden does uh, OBS run like dog shit? Thanks, Microsoft. It's very kind. Yeah. 
ever so kind. Give me the chicken! Useful. God damn. Mine's crypto in the background. Christ, you imagine? I'm gonna have to use potion. Key. Oh, another one. Maybe I'll be okay. What are your guys' thoughts on cryptocurrency? I don't... I still don't fully understand how it works. Seems like it's crashing at the moment, though. From what I've seen. Four dudes to find now. Fuck the spell. It's all about health. Ah, oh, you bastard. Is this like default to. Is this defaulting to like hard mode? Because it's hard. <laughs> Uh, I need to save my money. Going to do smaller updates more frequently so people can be safer quicker. Also, Microsoft, we're going to give them 12 to 15 bloatware programs every update for stupid things. Oh, I hate that that's true. Thank you. Thank you. I really hate that that's true. Goodbye. But it feels like it's true anyway. really does. Where are you, mate? Son of a bitch. I missed him. I have no idea how it works. All I know is that I've always seemed to be missing out on the big payouts, but I've never actually bought any. All I know is that it's causing the big GPU shortage. Yes, that's all. that is very annoying. Some cryptos ideas are good. Bitcoin is finite, so when the last coin is mined, there will only be that many left. No more, no less. But stuff like Doge that can be created on a whim. It's just like regular money. Saw a video on J two cents. Do they show a program that gets rid of all the Windows 10 bloatware, but it's one of those use at your own risk type programs? I guess you don't know what's going to break what, do you? Is the issue. Where did I hear him? Oh, Megavision. I think that's Megavision magazine. They're, uh, they're cool. Stage clear. I do... Uh, the, the other thing is... Um, mining is, like, really bad for the environment, isn't it? Because of the amount of power that's needed to actually make it. Is that correct? It's like NF NFTs. Like they seem scummy as fuck anyway. Oh, 
thanks. Uh, let's try and save the lady until last. Shit. Can I get through there? Oh. It's my boy, Alan. Alan, thank you for the raid. Very kind of you. We're just talking about uh, bit mining and how it works, because I don't know, because I'm dumb. T-Dog, do you see the retro bit of putting out a Mega Man Wily Wars official Mega Drive Genesis repro? I did. I don't f know how I feel about those, like, official... I know, I know it's like... It's probably official, isn't it? But the, those repros in general, I don't know. They, they kind of... I don't know if I like them. Uh, is it Tell Lowen? Welcome in. I'm trying. To, whenever I see a name like that, it's like, is it? Does it mean something backwards? It doesn't, does it? Alan, how's your stream, dude? Sorry, I was uh, sorry, I was lurking. It was Leon. Okay. <laughs> Guys, please give uh, please give Team VVV a follow. Um, Alan's a a uh, friend of mine has been a friend of mine for a long time uh, just just really in the last sort of 6 months has been streaming properly uh, properly properly and um has doing been doing very well from what i've seen how was the rest of your stream adam shattered now you did quite a lot of driving from what i saw handle's just an inside joke from long ago okay so it's meant to be the Leon, I guess, right? Uh, it's like mining for oil or gold. At the start, there isn't much effect on the environment, but the deeper you go, the less of the resource there is to add to the fact that now ten, hundreds of thousands of people are mining that mine versus 10 that were doing it from day one. Right. Yeah, it's, it's I don't know, the whole thing, like, I kind of get it, but I also, like, I really don't get it at the same time. You did 150 laps. Two minutes per lap. No wonder you're fucking exhausted. Um, people from Alan's stream, um, if you don't mind, if you're going to stick around, if you don't mind clicking on the link there to my channel, uh, that would help to count as a um, a viewer, like an, an average viewer, if that if that makes sense. Uh, just if you're going to stick around. But my name's Sound Shower. You can call me Sound or Tom. Uh, I'm a variety streamer, very Sega-based channel, but I do play pretty much anything, honestly. Uh, a lot of a lot of random stuff. Uh, we're playing Battle Axe at the moment, which is a game that Alan gifted me, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's really good. I'm, I've nearly sort of finished my quick look at it, um, but it's uh, I've had a good had a good time with it. It's bloody hard. <laughs> Which Alan did mention. It is bloody hard. I'm just looking at the uh, infinite mode at the moment. Oh. I've lost my groove. I don't want to go in there just yet. Uh oh. This could be it. It is it. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to level four as well, dude. <laughs> it was the um it was the twirling fire towers that did me in. Really uh kicked my ass. Are the raids give oh Seely, sorry, I d I didn't say hello to you. How are you doing, Seely? The raids are giving weird numbers now. No, so uh, we sort of clarified earlier. Um a, a raid will count towards your views in your summary and stuff but if you're going for like the average to try and get to like affiliate or partner it doesn't count unless someone actually clicks into the channel wish it was two players online yeah uh, I, I i mentioned that earlier i know we were we were talking about it yesterday um i do kind of wish that they'd done that but understand that it's expensive to implement and seeing as it was a kickstarter game they probably just didn't get the money to to be able to implement it uh but yeah no game's good 
I really liked it. I'm definitely going to dip into that occasionally. It is like like Xeno Crisis it is very much one of those games that I'll maybe just pick up and have a quick like 20 minute bash at. Um, might have to see if I can pick this up physically once it's uh, come down a little bit. 